Robbie, you're expanding here the whole time in your home place here. Um, do you find it difficult to juggle between riding and training? Ah, no, Dave, it's grand. Um, look, it's working well enough there the last couple of years, so we'll just keep, what we're, keep doing what we're doing, hopefully. And you keep adding on here with your gallop and the barn you have here. You have 25 stables here now, so that keeps you plenty busy. Yeah, 25, Dave. They're, it's a nice number there. And, and spend plenty of time with them there, and we, we good few lads come with me, you know, and they're good lads, so... You're lucky that way, aren't you? A few lads out of Collins and uh, Cormac's and Matty Flynn's that come down to you. Yeah, they come to me there around one o'clock and we, we get going then, but they're good lads, so I'm, I'm very, very lucky. Tell us about the gallop that you have here, Rob. Uh, two furlong circle, Dave, and there's a two furlong school ship in the middle, and there's a furlong shoot up, up the hill to the finish. It's a great addition to have the schooling on the inside, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's a very, very good job, yeah. John Armand did the gallop and the strip, and he did a very good job on it because it wasn't easy for him from the start. Yeah, there's a lot of ground to pull out, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you have a few horses that you had here for the fall, but um, 18, 19 horses there of three-year-olds for the new year? Yeah, there's a nice bunch of three-year-olds there. They, I think they're, they're going away there well, so we're happy enough so far. Anyway. Any couple that stand out? Uh, there's a nice jukebox jewelry filly, she's a half sister to Stellar Story. I like her, and there's a nice jukebox jewelry gill and, and a sea moon there. They're standing out a little bit there so far. Seems to be a good sire, jukebox jewelry. Yeah, I'd like him, yeah, they're very straightforward and they, they do their job. As you mentioned, that uh, girl who's half sister to Stellar Story, he was very impressive in Navin when he won. And uh, looking ahead to this weekend, uh, the Goffs. Uh, Carl Gold Cup Newbury sale is on. It's a it's a new sale, an exciting sale. Uh, Goffs no doubt will put on a great show like they did in uh, Sandown last year. And um, there's a filly there that you just got touched off on yesterday down in Linkstown uh, Railway Bell, a daughter of Maller. She was third in Lock Moore and second yesterday, as I said, only touched off by Paddy Turley's mare. Um, she's a nice mare, isn't she? Yeah, she's a lovely mare, Dave, and she's a nice uh, mare to pedigree, so. That's why we bought her Brandy Love in the second dam and the seven Craig bought her together. So look she was just barely touched off yesterday, but I'd say they're two good mares and we were going rattling down to the last or I was just about to say that yes, we were going hard down to the last and it was the second fastest time of the day. The only faster time was uh Gordon Elliott's impressive uh, four year old Gelden winner. Yeah, exactly. No, it was it was good racing there Dave yesterday. So Hopefully we'll go to Newbury now and hopefully we'll get on well. Another filly that you won on recently, Wednesday Adams for Colin Bow, um, a daughter of Telescope. She's on the sale as well. She actually got beaten by Piper Park on debut, who you owned with Harley Dunn, who sold very well at Tattersall's uh, Cheltenham sale. And um, she should sell well as well, Wednesday Adams. Yeah, look, she's a lovely mare. She's a real genuine staying mare, but she's, she jumps, for, jumps very well, but she's a very, very good mare. And then two boat getaways, a mayor and a gelding um, of Dunica Dials that were both second in Quakerstown. We'll start with Get Your Gucci On. Um, she seems a nice mare too. Yeah, she's a lovely mare, Dave. She's a real classy sort, I'd say. She's probably better over a shorter trip. She, she okay. travels very well. She's, she's a very track mare, I'd say. Right, okay. And uh, Maximum offers, um, again, a getaway. Gelden just touched off on the line. Barry Kotcha on Country Park, a horse of Collins. Uh, these are both two nice horses that are both on the sale this weekend. Yeah, they seem to be, Dave. Look, we pulled a long way clear from the third, and we, we um, just touched off on the line too, but you just got a little bit leery going to the line, a bit green, but, um, but a lovely big horse, and you give, give me a great feel. Looking forward to getting these three year olds out in February. It's not that far away. No, it's not that far. Hopefully, everything got to plan there. But it'll hopefully be a couple out early and we'll, we'll, we'll give them every time they need anyway if there's no panic. Well, best luck the weekend and the upcoming sales over the next few weeks and uh, with all this team of horses. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Hello everyone and welcome along to Newbury Racecourse, the venue for the all-new Coral Gold Cup sale by Goffs. An exciting new initiative involving the team here at Newbury Racecourse. Star graduates of Goffs point-to-point -point sales include the unbeaten champion hurdler Constitution Hill. Constitution Hill, simply breathtaking. Multiple grade one winner John Bond. John Bond, what a good horse this is. A couple of early errors, he casts them aside and he wins the celebration chase. And the grand national winner, Corrick Rambler. They're going to win it again with Corrick Rambler. And for your chance to buy your next superstar, make sure that you're here at the winner's enclosure at Newbury on the 2nd of December, Coral Gold Cup Day. <laughs>